So this is, a, this is one of the applications in 2.3. And when you're graphing, um, sometimes the best thing to do is just plug values in for x and calculate the y and see which graph fits that uh, criteria. Um, in this case, we have a price demand function and we have a revenue. So remember, revenue is the number of products times the price. So for instance, if I'm selling movies, right, DVDs, and let's say I am charging, right, so I'm selling them for $15 each, so my revenue is going to be 15, the price that I'm charging, times the number of products. So if I sold 100 um, DVDs, I'd end up with $1,500 in revenue. My price is what it costs me to produce these DVDs. So remember you have your, um, your uh, fixed value and your variable value, okay? So the price is how much it's costing me. So when we're looking for um, maximum revenue, okay, maximum revenue, so you have to always be willing to put revenue, I'm sorry, maximum and vertex in the exact same uh, mental lane, okay? They mean the same thing, maximum or minimum and vertex always means the same thing. So with this one, if I want you to find the maximum revenue, what I'm looking for is the vertex of my revenue function, okay? So when I, when I multiply this out, my revenue function ends up being 115x minus 3x squared, okay? That's my revenue function. Now I'm gonna use either completing the square or the vertex formula to find my vertex. So remember the x value is the number of items. So if the question says, find the output that will produce the maximum revenue. Well, what that means is, how many items do I need to produce in order to reach my maximum revenue? So <clears throat> maximum goes with vertex, so I'm gonna use my vertex formula. I'm gonna rearrange this so it is in descending order so that I have my A and my B. If I used it this way, this would mess me up, right? A is always next to my x squared, B is always next to my x. So you have to rearrange it sometimes. Okay, so vertex. If x represents the number of items, the x value is gonna be negative B divided by two times A. So I have negative 115 divided by negative six. Let me grab my calculator again. So I end up with 115 divided by six, which is about 19.1667, okay? So I need about 19 um, products. Nope. If I wanna change this to a fraction, I can leave it as 115 over 6, okay? Um, and it's positive. Now, to get my y value, remember the y value is I plug my x value back into my revenue function. So negative 3 times 115 over 6, because that is going to be more accurate. Okay, so wherever I see an x, I'm going to put in my 115 over 6. So this ends up being negative 1102.083 plus 2204.167. And then the next question says, what is the maximum revenue? So the maximum revenue is 1102.08. Okay, that's my maximum revenue. Now, if you go back up to the original question, the original question says um, the revenue is in millions of dollars. So you have 1102.08 million dollars. Okay, so you always have to look and see what your numbers are representing. And then what's the wholesale price per chip? So all that means, so this is my revenue, that's my maximum revenue, this is the maximum number of chips that I'm gonna produce, and my price 
is I'm going to plug the number, right, x represents the number, I'm going to plug the number back into my price function. So I get 115 minus 3 times 19 point, and I get, hang on, So I get about 57 and a half. So it says round to the nearest dollar. So about 58. So it costs about 58 to produce each chip. Okay. So the key is making sure that you connect the term maximum and vertex. That's the key.